Okay, we're gonna do. Let me talk. All right, how to groom a horse? Subject horse is Carson. What's the date? 20... Uh, May the 28th. Memorial Day. Yep, 2012. This is Carson. He is a pony. You can really tell from the height. Yeah. Pony does not mean he's young, although he's about four or five. It means this is as big as he is going to get. He is small. And thankfully, he is not a complete dirt ball today. But I would do the same thing even if he was dirty. It would just take longer. Yeah. This is a rubber curry comb. And this is the first thing that I use. I always start at the front, work my way back using a circular motion. And this loosens hair and brings all the dirt. Uh, I guess it can be back and forth. It doesn't have to be circular. But you can go against the grain of the hair. And it loosens all the hair and it brings the dirt to the surface so that you can brush it away. Um, you don't need to press really hard. Um, some horses have more sensitive skin than others. Um, if your horse has a scar, make sure it's not sore before you go over it. He's good. He likes it. Both sides. If they have mud on their lower legs, you can go all the way down the legs. But you don't need to go down the legs with this one? No. Maybe if he was muddy or had feathers or something, I might, but I don't need to do it. Feathers? Um, long hair on his pet lock, don't we? Uh. <clears throat> what are you doing, Brody? Doing, uh, brushing them off. I step right Next. Step two is a stiff bristle brush going in the direction of the hair. And this brushes off all the dirt and hair that we just brought up to the surface. This goes all the way down the legs. It's especially important to make sure now that you've messed up the hair to put it all back in the correct direction before you put the saddle on. Otherwise that could be uncomfortable. We don't want to give anybody any reason to buck, ever. Both sides. And you don't do the face with this one, right? Right. The face is next with the... Soft brush. Soft brush. And the soft brush can also be used as a follow-up. Uh, it adds an extra level of dust removal. Um, so if you, if you were in a show or something, you could use that, um, the soft brush, followed by a damp cloth. Oh. Um, just to get the last little bit of dust off the horse. This is a face brush. It's very soft. You can use it. You can brush over the eyes and all around. It does not hurt. They like it. He's just a little spooky and I am brushing him as I would if I expected him to just deal with it. So he occasionally flinches and I just keep going to show him that it's okay and nothing bad is gonna happen. Mom. What, Brody? Can you um, take off the blinders? Do what? Take off the blinders. You know, not such a good idea to leave the halter on the floor. And then mane and forelock. This is just a regular hairbrush. I usually don't mess with tails um, unless I have a show. The pasture that they are in has some thorns, so I check to make sure there's no thorns because, again, we don't want to give them any excuse to be uncomfortable. I don't want to swat at a fly with their tail and end up stabbing themselves with a thorn that's stuck in their tail. You're very handsome. But gel. No gel. I have a, a spray that I've used on tails, mm. like a detangling spray. But um, it, it works great on Shasta's tail because it's not very thick or very long. Mm -hmm. But Carson and Stretch have very long tails, and I just 
I like them that way. I don't want to rip any hair out unnecessarily. This is a hoof pick. Did you clean his feet already? Mm -hmm. um, can you put this? Uh, Bear back pad. Have you done his feet? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll put fly spray on him. Can you check it? Check his feet. No, you check his feet. Um, Carson didn't pick his feet up when we got him. He is getting much better at it. And what are you looking for when you're picking? Um, rocks and to clean out manure and stuff. Look what I did. Oh, with the pick? No, I was holding the edge of his hoof and he needs to be trimmed. There was a sharp. Oh, okay. It took a chunk out of my But he didn't mean to do it and now he's ready with his hind feet. Yeah, he's, he Mom. had that one lifted up already. Mom. What, baby? I'm going to put this uh, the tail thing on him. Okay. Okay, can you hold him still for a second? I want to zoom in close on there. Oh, he's clean. Yeah. Barefoot horses tend to stay a little bit cleaner. Oh, then shoed? Yeah. Shod? Yeah, because if the shoe's around here, then it's something that can hold it in. Yeah, it takes more. Yeah. Right here, you just make sure that there's no rocks. He's got nice little hard feet. He needs to have his nails trimmed. Hooves. Hooves. The farrier Hooves. should be coming soon. Come on. Farrier. Farrier is the guy that does the horse feet. But he's not gay. No, not a furrier. I like call them farriers. I don't know. Farriers. I used to call them blacksmiths, but nobody does that anymore. Oh, okay. All right, one clean horse. I'm not sure